it's it's a green onion. Are you, I thought it was supposed to be like an <laughs> onion onion. <sighs> Why are you taking that? Because <laughs> you're the dog lady. Yeah, I'm the dog lady. <laughs> Girl Willow. <laughs> ah. In pursuit of water, I've come out to try and dig, dig a well. Our pond is up that way. We're at lower level right here than the pond is at. So I thought this might be a good spot. I came here yesterday to dig See, for, see uh, what I could do, and there, I did find water, but all I do is come up against these boulders, these unmovable boulders. Like this one I couldn't move. There's another one down here I couldn't get to. There's another one here. Can you see where my stick is? I guess I should hold the camera right. And another one here that you can't quite see. There's dirt on it. So, and one here. <laughs> so, I got, I was digging down here, and then I hit this thing, so I moved the hole this way and then just kept hitting more big boulders. But there is water down there. If I could have gone down, say, another foot, that would have been great. But I spent several hours on this and that's it. That's all I can do. So I could try another spot and hope I don't hit boulders. Or as City Girl has wisely uh, suggested, I should rent a Kubota for a weekend and bring it in here and dig. She's still here, for now. It's Sunday, but she's going back today. But you're coming back next weekend, right? Sure. Sure, she yeah. says. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope so. Best time of the year to be here. <laughs> I don't know. Are you gonna pull one? Well. Uh, I think I should, like, Dig it out, don't you? Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be an onion. It's it's a green onion. Are you, I thought it was supposed to be like an <laughs> onion onion. <laughs> <sighs> I thought it was just a green onion. I'm growing these back in the city. <laughs> I mean, I have like a pot of them. And clearly this is just grass. Yeah, it's just grass. <laughs> Where are the onions? No onions. We're so good at growing grass in our garden. It's insane. Okay, great. So I got two green onions. I'm taking back. Hmm. Nothing. Like there's... <gasps> good looking soil. though. Oh, yeah. Hey everyone, it's City Girl. I wanted to give you a recap of the garden. I was actually in here yesterday and I was digging things out because it's time to close up the garden, so to speak. Um, so you're not really gonna see much uh, in that I dug up the uh, beans and the cucumbers. We actually got like four cucumbers and we had one yesterday. I had one in a salad and it was just nice and fresh and crispy. I thought that these were actually, these were going to be um, some other kind of vegetable. Turns out that they are going to be parsnips. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna leave those in there for now. And as I mentioned before, there are a couple of turnips growing. I'm gonna leave those in there. I pulled out all the carrots. We put them in a stir fry yesterday. They were super tiny, like super tiny. It must have gotten like five of them. And here would have been the squash. I pulled that all out. Left the corn though, just cause it looks pretty. Yep, so yeah, thought that was nice. We actually got quite a few potatoes as you look at this empty flower pot. Quite a few potatoes from the flower pot did better in the flower pot than it did over here in this row. I 
probably only got one from digging up there. And I'll take you down to the dock so we can take a look at the tomato plant. Heading down to the dock. Last night we actually sat out and looked at some stars. Though we didn't sit out for very long because there was a moon happening. <laughs> and while it's nice to see the moon, it was a big fail. It was pretty bright. Yeah. It was pretty bright. Oh, we saw some shooting stars. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do I have to move in front of the camera? <laughs> no, I just didn't want to get some things. Um, yeah, we saw some shooting stars, we saw some satellites. Uh, we heard lots of animal noises. Mm -hmm. Coyotes and geese and sand cranes and more coyotes. Yep. And, uh, beavers. <laughs> oh, a lot of splashing of the beavers. Tail flaps. They weren't very happy with us. All right, I'm heading down to check out the tomato. Look at these lovely purple asters, and they smell really nice too. Really do love this time of year because you see different types of foliage coming out. Don't know what those yellow flowers are. I don't think that's a, a weed, but let's not knock the weeds because they're actually good for the bees and stuff. Weeds aren't all bad. Here we go. I uh, did some major pulling of the leaves here because I just wanted the tomatoes to get red. This is the objective now. These, these are as good as these beefsteak tomatoes are gonna get. I know they're not terribly huge, but now I just want them to get some sunshine. Here's the second plant here. The smell is incredible, as I've mentioned before. So, you know, there's like lots of little <laughs> tomatoes. I'm okay with that. Oh, there's one that's, can you see that? It's just starting to turn. So yeah, it's nice. I'm pleased with it. Yep. Weeds are starting to change color, die off. Maybe next weekend when I come here, I'll get out on the kayak again show you some of the fall colors. Maybe do some poetry and kayak, as one subscriber suggested. What a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day here at Raspberry Rock. That is one good looking cabin. Hello, Junebug. Hello. You coming down to visit? You can do it. Oh, such a sweet girl. Yes, you are. So, City Girl has a, a secret spot over there that she likes to sit and hang out. Oh, there she is coming back now. And I don't know where the secret spot is. She won't tell me. And she won't take the camera to film herself because it's a secret hidden spot. Are you going to tell us where your secret hidden spot is? Pardon me? Are you going to tell us where your secret hidden spot is? Well, that would totally defeat it being a secret hidden spot. I think she should tell us. So our friends at Jackery are celebrating their ninth anniversary this year. Happy ninth anniversary, Jackery! You might remember that I've done a couple of product review videos of Jackery products. They make power stations and solar panels. Here's one video I did. And here's another video that I did. The Jackery 1000. Yeah, pretty cool little units used for, you know, car camping or taking to your uh, cottage on, for the weekend if you don't have other power sources. Uh, really, really good stuff. Anyway, for their ninth anniversary, they're having a picture contest. And here's how it works. Uh, go out to the wilderness or someplace you've never been before and take a picture of yourself like this. I mean, like this one. And, uh, yeah, and I'll give you a link to their website where you can upload the picture and also read about the rules uh, down in the description below. Check it out. Um, they're giving away some really great products as well. Power stations and solar panels and 
combos of power stations and solar panels. Some really good stuff. I think a couple of them are ones that I've actually reviewed in my videos. Um, really neat products. So definitely check it out. Um, and go take a picture of yourself out in the wilderness. I think their campaign is called Outing? <laughs> Outing with Jackery? Yeah, so check it out. And I think I'll be doing another review of a Jackery product in the near future, probably in a few weeks, uh, when they send it to me. <laughs> so, yeah, happy ninth anniversary, Jackery! Uh, and get those pictures up there and win those products, you guys. Cheers. It's 6.30 in the morning, it's way earlier than I usually get up. City Girl has gone back to the city, and uh, I'm going fishing today with Senior David. So, uh, just packing up. Gosh, I never get up this early, man. Hi, David. Hi, Russell. <laughs> Good to see nice you. to meet you. I'm sorry if it wasn't, hopefully it wasn't too much trouble for you to find the place. Well, uh, no, not once I got here. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> is this a septic bed here? Yeah, this is septic and that's the tile bed, which gets devastated by the heat every year, so we reseed it. Oh. Way to go, first fish. first fish. It's a monster. Yeah. All right, you're, you're set for a week for food. Get out the chopsticks. Yeah. Come on. The other way? Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Look at him. First largemouth. Yeah, baby. All right, congratulations, Russell. There's a keeper. The other way. <laughs> I hope you're gonna edit that part. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> yeah. Nice size on him. Ow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Nice size. Good size. You got a couple pounders there. Fishing. 
So we got we got a bunch of uh, fish right off the bat. Sunfish and smallmouth and that one largemouth that I got. Now we're back on the dock. Trying to catch, what are we trying to catch? Crappie? Oh, well, there's crappies by the dock, um, but you don't want them. They're very small. Um, you're trying to get a, you're trying to get a mate for your big, big mouth bass. Trying to get anything right now. Trying to get anything right now, yeah. Got a couple of nibbles. Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Rock. This this is probably more towards the middle of the video, but that's fine. Anyway, today I went to town because I needed my windshield replacing on my car. I had three big rock marks on it. Rock marks? Anyway, here's a short video of a cool gentleman working on my windshield wipers. I guess they take them off for some reason. Anyway, I stopped by, I, I had some time to kill, like several hours, so I stopped by the dam in Belleville the whatever this word is whatever this title is damn that was pretty cool uh then i met an old friend and we were uh, dancing for a while uh i went back to tweed and saw some subscribers again i think his name is Dale, and I forget his wife's name. I could be wrong on both both of those. In fact, I'm sure I'm wrong on one of those. Anyway, I think this is the second time I've seen them, so uh, I think they're like in Tweed, hiding behind trees, watching for me to come out. To, you know, out of my hole here, my cave. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. We made that joke together when we were there. Uh, and then I met a, a Jim, just in the parking lot there, who also watches our videos. That was pretty cool. <laughs> One of these days, City Girl's gonna have to change her name because you can't be City Girl forever, right? Maybe she'll be Dog Lady. Why are you taking that? Because <laughs> you're the Dog Lady. Yeah, I'm the Dog Lady. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> How was that? That's the tiniest dog I've ever seen. It's four days old. Four days old. Can't hear, can't see. What a cutie. And it needed some antibiotics, and I was just at the vets. Aww. Yeah. So cute. Anyway, so I am the dog lady. Dogs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I did go fishing with David the other day, um, and he also gave me these, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, a pair. There's two of them here. These were his grandfather's. Um, I think they're too old to use. Uh, I think they would come apart if I actually tried to use them. So he gave them to me for decoration and I'm trying to think of where to put them. How about right there over the patio doors like this or like this. Something something like that. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about that. I thought it was a good idea. They'll be nice and protected under the roof here and uh, and they'll be protected under the roof. So yeah so Final, probably final garden update is, well, City, City Girl went through the garden earlier in this video. Um, but I don't think she showed anything. Like we had, she picked like a handful of carrots, baby carrots, like less than I got last year. And we ate them in a meal. And there's two green beans. Uh, there was a few cucumber. 
cucumbers. Hopefully I've got B-roll for this. A few cucumbers that look like this. And um, some potatoes. I think we did better with potatoes this year. We got several that are nice. And she also talked about the tomato plants, right? So I don't got to talk about those. Hopefully they're ripening. I haven't checked them since... Well, I guess I checked them yesterday. Anyway, remember that uh, gas can pump I have? Come, come take a boo. Russell. So remember this thing, this uh, gas can pump thing. Um, still really like it. City Girl has used it and she likes it. It's so simple to use. It's wonderful. Um, the only challenging part or challenging thing I had to do is figure out where to put it when I took the gas cans to town to fill them up. You gotta, you gotta let it dribble out and then you gotta hang it somewhere essentially. You don't want to get it wet and you don't want to get it dirty because it's going back in the gas can, right? Um, I just haven't hung it from the clothesline <laughs> and it almost started raining so I was a little bit worried but, but you don't want water in your gas either right? so I'm not gonna say what brand it is because at the moment I don't remember <laughs> and I don't think it's important if you look on Amazon for gas can battery powered battery powered gas can pump you'll you'll find ones just like this and uh, try them out try, give it a try give it a listen look how easy this is no mess, no fuss. It's on or it's off. And I haven't charged the batteries even once since I put them in here. Not that it gets used much, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? In the wintertime, I'm sure I'll take the batteries out. No hands! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hey. We, we lost another arrow on uh, Sunday? Yeah, it was Sunday. We lost an arrow. Uh stupidest thing i did the stupidest thing i was doing a little bit of shooting and the city girl was watching me and i said oh i'm gonna get you to look for this arrow that went through the tarp and is missing this does have an auto shut off but i just don't like it to be that full right if it gets full and, I, and as the atv is running and it warms up and then gas starts coming out the relief uh, don't quote me i'm not a mechanics guy so what I like it to be. Anyway, I had the I had the great idea. I said, why don't you stand over here where I can't see you? I don't want you to be in the way of the arrow. And, but you watch, and I'll shoot an arrow purposely straight through the tarp from where I was standing. I'll shoot straight through the tarp. You watch where it goes, and then we'll know where the first arrow went. We'll recover both arrows. Well, uh, <laughs> guess how poorly that worked. Um, City Girl kind of saw it go through, but I guess, you know, those arrows are going really, really fast, and it, the arrow obviously went further than just a few feet. It went back there somewhere, and now I have two missing arrows. <laughs> Russell, you're so smart. You should do videos on products on YouTube, because people will trust you that you know what you're doing. <laughs> <sighs> Did you see me dancing earlier with that with that dude? He's an old friend. He's an old friend. He loves to dance. He just gets outside and the winds blow and go, go, go. Yeah, good friend. One of my best friends. He doesn't say much. He's quiet. And what did City Girl do to these tomato plants? <laughs> There's just nothing left but tomatoes on there. Very few leaves. She really pillaged, didn't she? But oh, look, dog! Look! Oh, tomato! That'll be ready like tomorrow, maybe. That's my, my guess. Oh, that one tomato is like, I'm ready, bitches. I'm ready. Almost. And none of the other ones are. Why Why that one? That's so weird. Yeah. If anybody's curious about the dog plants, these other ones here, which I can't show anymore because it'll age restrict this video. I'm going to do an unlisted video update for you guys. If you want, I'll put it in the description below. You, If you want to check it out, you can click there and that's a very short unlisted video on the status of the dog plants. And we won't care if that one gets age restricted. So what?
It's always a day here. It's always a day. You know what I'm saying? It's always a <gasps> wolf on the prowl. Hey, wolf. Wolf. Hey, wolf. She's ignoring me. It has rained non-stop for like 30 hours. Uh, just so much rain. I can't even see, you know when you get the, the high water marks on the rocks around the pond? I can't even see them. So this, this is like an all-time high water level here on the pond. Just an amazing amount of rain. I feel I feel really bad. My neighbors were in, the guys from London, at their, a couple of them were in for at, at the cabin <laughs> for the last couple of days. Like they came in a couple of days ago and then they've got nothing but rain and uh, <laughs> they're leaving today. I, I heard their ATVs and I ran out to meet them and uh, they're trying to get out today and it's like the water levels are so freaking high that they're worried about getting out. I said, hey, if you have any troubles out there, call me. My ATV is a little bigger than theirs, so. <laughs> I forgot to ask, are your winches working? That's like something you got to ask out here. Are your winches working? What's going on with the light levels here, Russell? As a <laughs> I don't know. I'm really dark. Sometimes the camera focuses on me and says, oh, everything else, we, we need to brighten everything else up. And then sometimes it focuses on the background. Oh, here, there we go. Now it's focused on me, so I lighten up. <laughs> that is stupid. Stupid camera. Can I change that? No, I can't change it. Oh. There. Now we're on zone. Okay, that's what it really looks like. Anyway, um, City Girl is going to be here tomorrow, which will be awesome. Again, two weekends in a row, and it's not the middle of the summer where she gets every Friday off kind of thing. So that'll be good. I'm going to see about live streaming tomorrow. I really want to live stream. We haven't done it. We didn't do it last weekend. I want to do it this weekend. Uh, if City Girl's up for it. If she's not, if she just wants to chill after a hard week, then that's fine. We can just chill. Um, to live stream, you got to be on your game, right? You got to be up and hyper. Well, not hyper, but up and um, energetic kind of thing. And sometimes you just want to chill and watch, you know, watch a movie or something like that. But we'll see. We'll see what she wants to do. Um, my network right now is. It's funny because it was raining like crazy yesterday, like like way harder than it is right now. But my internet was just slamming. It was awesome. <laughs> Today still raining, not as hard. It doesn't look as overcast as it was yesterday, and the internet is shit. Just shit. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.